Welcome back to another video. Uh, today, we are going to talk about what it's like to swim in South Korea. I am here in Seoul, South Korea, and I'm back to swimming again, which feels great, by the way. <laughs> I might as well make a video about this topic uh, that I've never covered before which is uh, what it's like to swim here in Korea. Uh, if you're new to Korea, if you've never swam here before, this is the video for you, what to expect if you come here, okay? So, uh, we all know that you know the, there's these new COVID restrictions all around the world. Uh, I've been hearing uh, from other members of our swimming Facebook group, by the way, if you want to know about that group, click the link down below. Uh, people have been posting their stories about what it's like swimming in their own country. So for example, Canada or the States or in Europe. And there's all these new COVID restrictions. Like for example, you got to wear a face mask when you're sitting on, at the pool deck and you got to sign in, you got to register in advance and there's a limited number of swimmers per lane and it's i would say to describe it for their situation the this new covid experience is very strict and here in korea i can show you firsthand the footage i swam a few days ago and uh here it's pretty relaxing <laughs> it's it's not as strict as uh you would think here in korea what they're gonna do is they're gonna do the temperature check first of all, okay? That's pretty much uh, mandatory wherever you go. Like, uh, for example, the, the gyms that I work out here in Korea, they, they do the, the temperature check first. And I go in, I get my locker, get my locker key, change, show up to the pool, and I'm, I'm swimming, I'm good to go. There's, there's nothing much that has changed aside from the temperature check. Now, what is different uh, about swimming here in Korea compared to like for example other countries like Canada, United States or wherever you're from is that the pool times are a lot different than what you are, are used to or accustomed to. So for example, I'll just post a picture of like a, a pool schedule up on the screen for you guys to look at. Uh, you'll notice that there are sections throughout the day for people to swim at the pool. So for example, uh, back in Canada like if I showed up at a pool like at 6 a.m., I could stay at, at that pool technically throughout the whole day and not worry right, about like being kicked out or something, right? But here in Korea, you have to swim during designated times, okay? And they, they make it clear because uh, between these designated times, so for example, like a morning and afternoon and evening time or session, swimming session, there's like one or two hour breaks in between. And between those breaks, they're cleaning the pool or just letting the pool, you know, the, the, the chlorine do its work. So even if you were to like show up at a, a Korean pool, like in the morning, 6 a.m., you would have to wait a pretty long time to get back into the water uh, in between these uh, sections. <laughs> it's a kind of a annoying. I noticed uh, when I first experienced it. There's also break times. So these break times are, these, they occur like every hour or so. So for example, like you start, I started swimming like at 1.30 and then when 2.30 came, there was like a break and there's a sound, an announcement throughout the pool and everyone has to get out of the water and you just gotta like, like chill on the sidelines for like 15 minutes and just we just we're all looking at the pool water and uh, I don't know what they're doing but uh, yeah let's just let give the pool water a break so that occurs every hour or so and uh, aside from that a little differences that I noticed is that um, you know I, there are lessons being conducted during drop-in times like uh, I don't know why but they'll just throw in a random class inside a lane for lap swimming. I don't know why they did that. In general in Korea, there's a lot more people that swim and I can tell because like when I share a lane, I'm, I never have a lane all to myself. It's always with around like 10 to 12 other swimmers. I'm serious. And these are just typical like swimmers, lounge swimmers that, that just hang out. They lounge from one end or the other end of the pool. So, yeah, there you go. You got There's not really uh, many uh, continuous lap swimmers I notice 
you know, when I'm swimming in a drop-in session, for example. I, mean, I see a lot of people just, just hanging out on the sidelines. Which is pretty common in like in Canada or wherever else I swim at. Uh, there's a lot of people that that swim like like head on, like like they go 100%. They gas out and they just lounge on the other end. And then once they see me, they tailgate me and they take advantage of you know my my momentum and they, they try to swim behind me to reduce the drag. I mean, uh, a lot of people don't understand yeah the the uh, the importance of flow and uh, maintaining good traffic, harmony within the lane, which is what I teach and promote. If you don't know uh, what swimming lane etiquette is like, there's a video I made before in the past. I'll put a link down to it below for you to watch. Swimming is a lot like driving, okay? When you drive, when you learn to drive, it's pretty easy, okay? The car does most of the work. Same with swimming. When you swim, the water does most of the work. It's just your job to relax and let the water take you from one end of the pool to the other. What makes swimming hard is swimming with other people. It's just like driving. When you're given a lane all to yourself, you're given an abandoned highway, driving's easy, okay? A kid can drive. But if you're given a lane, and you're sharing that lane with hundreds of other drivers, cars, vehicles that don't know, that don't speak English, or don't know etiquette, or just don't know how to drive in general, it becomes stressful. You gotta think ahead. It's constantly thinking about who's swimming behind you, who's swimming in front of you, who's trying to cut cut you off, so who's uh, entered the pool, who's uh, you know in your lane. All these factors. It's just like driving in, on the highway, driving in traffic. You got to deal with different types of people all the time. That's what swimming is really like. Uh, but uh, yeah, if I was given the chance to swim in a lane all to myself, that would be pure heaven, okay? Rarely do I get that chance, but if I do, I will take it, okay? And if I see a lane where there are a lot of slow swimmers or not that many swimmers, few swimmers, I would take that lane most of the time. Most of the time. Depending. Depending, okay? Okay, so uh, yeah, that, that's pretty much all I can think about when it comes to swimming in Korea. Okay, you get your temperature check when you first enter. Uh, there are certain time slots throughout the day for you to swim at, like morning, afternoon, and evening. And between these time slots, there's, there's like these one or two hour breaks when you can't enter the pool. And those are the times when you can just chill out in the sauna or just hang out on the sidelines. If you, if you really don't value your time, you could do that if you wanted to. Just the, the amount of people that you're sharing a lane with and that these people you know, don't speak English or don't know certain lane etiquette will just be lounging or getting in your in your way. That's just something you got to deal with as a swimmer. Okay. So yeah, that's that's about it. Other than that, swimming is great here in Korea. You don't have to wear a mask on on the sidelines, and uh, I can I'm free to do what I like. So I hope to make some more footage and uh, make some more videos about swimming because this channel is mostly about swimming and fitness fitness too so uh, yeah expect more of those videos and if you are interested in those videos uh, please subscribe and like this video and uh, stay tuned for more okay uh, if you really want to learn how to swim I have a swimming course that you can take right now you can access it anywhere around the world it's an online course if you're stuck in quarantine or you're stuck at home if you want to work on your swimming chops before the pools in your area start to open up, definitely take this course, okay? You, you need this course. It's like a driving course, okay? If you don't know how to drive or you need to become a better driver, you need to take this course. You need to invest your money in a serious course that will teach you the basics. If you don't know how to swim, this course will teach you from A to Z, from complete beginner all the way to the end, okay? Thousands and thousands of students have enrolled, okay? Why haven't you, huh? Come on, come on. Invest in a good swimming course. The course is down below. It's called Seven Day Swim. Definitely, definitely check it out, okay? It's really hot here in Seoul. I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my day, my sweaty day here. And uh, I hope that you have a wonderful day. My name's Justin, signing off. Take care. Bye-bye.